Now is the time to play the Hunger of the Beast. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. And welcome back to another deck building edition of Nightbanes. Today we have another sort of rush deck. This one is a bit more frail than the last. However, once it gets uh, some of its stronger creatures up, it doesn't have a hard time keeping them up and netting the victory. So we'll start off with the one Bloodlust creatures. These creatures all take one turn to get up. I have two Black Cats. They have the Curse ability, which allows them to deal an additional damage. So they're basically two damage with three health. And then they also have Tenacity, which allows them to survive a chance to survive death uh, up to three times, which is quite nice. The Bloodthirsty Wolf is also in this deck. Again, just fast damage dealing, no special abilities, nothing like that. The Giant Rat, I really, really love. The Evade chance is bigger than you'd think it is, and I've, <laughs> I've had uh, rats just turn games around for me. So I have to keep these little guys in the deck. Two cost cards. The, they're just kind of uh, added in there just to increase the longevity. I have two Blood Maidens, which have a chance to evade, just like the rats, but they also do two, uh, heal two health. So if you put these guys out there with the rats, it can it can get pretty ugly for your opponent relatively quick. Giant Serpent is one of my bloodless creatures, or my three bloodless creatures. He has a Shadow Step, which allows him to attack past abominable creatures to hit the Vampire Lord. So kind of hard to pair up, but it's worth it if you can pull it off. The Sabertooth Tiger ignores Toughness, which is quite nice. 3 attack, 5 health. It's a relatively tough card once you get it on the field. Sewer Alligator, again, 3 um, attack, 5 toughness. Or 5... <laughs> yeah, five, 5 health, 5 toughness. He also has Toughness, which allows incoming damage to be reduced by 1, allowing him to act as quite a tank. And then... These are my main force, I suppose. I have three Terror Bears, which deal three damage and have six health, and they also have a chance to stun upon attack. Items, again, the Bronze Rings. I just love the attack buffs that I get from equipping these. I would fit four in my deck, but uh, there's, there's simply no room. <laughs> a lightning Belt, once again, an extra damage extremely helpful for netting those those kills you know the creature has four health and your your dude only has three attack and you end up netting it because of the lightning belt you'll just you'll be glad you brought it i promise <laughs> bad omen curses two enemies to deal an additional two damage which is extremely helpful if you're looking to net those uh if he kills Blessing of the Elders, again, I have uh, two in the deck, just like in the last one. And while this deck isn't as bulky as the previous one, it's extremely important to keep your uh, bigger creatures up, which the Blood Maidens also help with. <laughs> Doom reduces an opponent's uh, inactive creature's bloodlust by two which means they'll be sitting on the bench for two more turns before they're able to make an attack. It's extremely useful for the bigger creatures that maybe you want to break down. You need just a couple more turns to get through their defenses and kill them, and to have them not be active and able to retaliate is extremely helpful. Edict of the Archon basically does what the last uh, Vampire Lord skill does and adds two bloodlust to an in inactive creature. So I'll usually use that to activate a uh, croc or a terror bear on the second turn and get it out there and attacking. Finally, this is what I would call the linchpin of the deck. There are four Hunger of the Beast cards, which heals all cr all bestial creatures on the on the battleground by two. So again, extremely helpful in keeping your creatures up. And then it also enrages all of your creatures, which increases their attack by one. 
So if you have a lot of these these little guys out, it can become a mess for your opponent pretty quick. And I shall show you that now with a quest. Necrotic Chaos Mage! I'm going to start out with the rat, so we can show you how that little guy does. He's got a zombie, but that's just fine. I'll actually play a ring. Just to get my rat some more attack, because he's going to need it. Oh, he's dead. He's gone. He's he's over. It's done. Well, I suppose we can try and get the... Yeah, the alligator will have enough. He's got toughness. Toughness! Hmm. And I will play a Blood Maiden as well. We're all going to start healing. Wonderful. Dang. I, I kind of want to use this card to heal him, but not really. I'm going to go ahead and play my snake. I think the Blood Maiden is an ethereal creature. Yeah. I'll have another Blood Maiden, but if I put it out against the Crypt White, it's going to get destroyed. So, let us... Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Lettuce. Delicious lettuce. I'm going to try and get this tiger out. Obviously, my team is um, a little bit unwieldy, but it doesn't present too many problems, especially once you get the Blood Mains out there. I'll try and get the Black Cat attacking some stuff. He's trying to heal his Blood Maidens, so it is a healing battle. Probably a little bit longer than the last one. And, let's see. I could get more Blood Maidens out. But I really need a Terror Bear. Terror Bear! And it'll be relatively easy to level up against the Vampire Slayer. Wow, he was flying everywhere. Okay. Now is the time to play the Hunger of the Beast, and hopefully we'll be able to flip this game right now. Everybody heal! Boosh, boosh, boosh! Ugh. We're still hanging in there. I have another Hunger of the Beast card. So I think I'm gonna play it. Make it happen. Ah! Enraged! Alright. So I'm gonna save this Doom for his Crypt Keeper. <clears throat> And in the meantime, I'm going to bad omen some people and hope it hits this spider. Oh, that worked just fine. So he's getting shut down pretty hard now. We'll get the lightning belt out there because we're overwhelming him with our creatures. Shazam! So, this has been part two, deck building edition of Night Banes. I've been Brandon Dayton your humble narrator. If you had any success with this deck, or if you simply enjoyed the video, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four...